Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we are here on Snowy Drought is the map. And up in the north we have OE Marikar in the Cyan GLA Stealth. And then all the way down in the south, we haven't seen too much of her recently on this channel. But we do today. We've got Queen Muff or Muff in the yellow and she is playing with the China Tank. So particularly excited about this one because it's one of my favorite matchups or maybe my exact favorite matchup which is stealth v tank always ends up in a gg as long as the replay goes longer than 100 kilobytes i can guarantee you it's going to be it's going to be decent so we've got a forward supply there from muff and she is sending a truck straight down the middle some people will send it here to try and stop that worker and then go to the main but actually seeing a lot of GLAs send their first terrorist here. And if it doesn't stop the truck, then they're seeing putting it on guard mode there to kill some trucks. So I think that's why she's actually gone all the way to the left. I actually like this. Because you're going to catch Marika off guard here. Probably going to stop that worker. There is a um, hijacker out as the first unit, which is a bit of a gamble for the stealth. Because you don't know if it's going to be a get in an outpost as the first unit from the tank. And if it is... Then it just stops the hijacker and then straight away your start is pretty bad. Never mind losing the workers here as well. Uh, however, if you grab a dragon tank and start flame walling things there, you can probably just end the game right there. So it's a bit like a high, higher risk, high reward. Uh, Marikar has opted for an arms dealer. Some players will open with just a barracks and a load of tunnels. Oh, he's just going to grab himself a dozer. Instead of waiting for a flamer, it would have been interesting in an alternate universe to see if the next unit was going to be uh, a flamer. Because if it was, that would have been better probably than grabbing the dozer. Grabbing the dozer here is still obviously magnificent. That's definitely uh, something you would definitely take. But the economy now for Muff is greater because she's on three supplies. She's going to be a little bit angry because she just lost the dozer. And she's going to want to put on the pressure uh, soon by spamming loads of stuff now and uh trying to trying to close out the game sooner rather than later because uh a pro player like marikar with stealth on power from the beginning the the longer you let that go the they're very uh the, the the chances you had of winning are the diminishing diminishing uh getting slimmer and slimmer let's say outpost is the next unit thing is it was an outpost now because you've seen the hijacker but would that have been a flamer if the hijacker didn't uh, didn't take the dozer. But I think Marikar probably took the right decision. Took the dozer while he could. Instead of being greedy. Because if you be greedy and it's an outpost next. Then you throw away that chance of grabbing the dozer. Tunnels are going to be built very, very quick. Here is another hijacker. Now, whilst there are outposts out. And whilst you've already grabbed one dozer. Is another hijacker uh, the right thing to be doing? They do build super, super quick now you've got power. So I suppose it's not too bad. This uh, flamer here is probably going to go down, but there's a quad traffic jam here. Losing two quads there when you didn't really even need to take that engagement, I don't think is the greatest. And also, ooh, yeah, you don't really want to pop, pop a few units there. Well, there's loads of gats around. Those RPGs could have gone down. Marikar's expanded to a third now. Third supply will build also very, very quick because uh, the GLA has power. People always say in the comments, what does GLA with power actually do? And the, the, the thing is that you, you build twice as fast all your buildings build twice as fast all your units build twice as fast uh, the only thing that doesn't build twice as fast is your upgrades yeah another hijacker i don't think he's literally looking for the other dozer isn't he yeah he's looking for the other dozer or looking to grab a flamer or something what grabbing one of these flamers at this point would be a good idea actually Muff is taking this opportunity just to charge straight down the middle. Marikar must be realizing there's a big hole of fog of war here. Realizing now the tank can put on the pressure. Needs to drop down some more defensive tunnels. Does have the money for it. Still putting on the pressure here. Mm. Well, I'm guessing the hijacker was unsuccessful. I probably should have been watching that. But yeah, either way unsuccessful. It looks like it's died to the mines there actually. Muff with the, with the life-saving mines if that did happen. But yeah, big army here now. If that just pushes here, Marikar's main base is dead and that power is dead. Uh, this is why I don't really opt for the arms there. They're always straight away as the stealth. It's because these quads really do nothing. 
I mean, you've just probably wasted, what, six quads for one outpost? I think more defensive tunnels in that case would have been better than just popping six quads there or doing some kind of a counterattack. Even if it means losing a few quads again to a flame wall, rather than losing your whole army there to a, to a far... Well, that, that, that to me is a Fargo pop. That's a classic Fargo pop there because he popped six quads and killed one outpost for it. Got to know when to take an engagement and when not to take an engagement. But, I mean, sometimes you feel forced to do something. America obviously just felt the pressure there. Flamer going to head over here to the oil and refinery. Work ahead and over here as well as the Flamer. And it looks like Muff is in a very strong position. I can't really see Marikar winning this. He's going to have to go into super survival mode. I thought he would have at least had to have this position, like drop down a few tunnels and grab this position. I think one of the reasons this is such a good map, which is often overlooked, is actually the detail to the textures and like the roads and stuff like that on this map is very, very good. It's not just open and, wh and white snow. It's actually the detail here of this, the square roads and stuff is actually very decent. We've got a battle bus out for Marikar. Almost gets hole moded. John pops out of the bus. Snipes a battle master. But surely he's going to get found soon. If you keep heading in that same direction where she knows it's heading. And surely an outpost in the gat is going to show up in a second and stop that Jarman. But I think he's looking for this last dozer. I think that's what he's looking for. Intel is in the same clan as Excal. He's trying to literally... Or is he? Nah, he's still got the power. So he's just trying to... He's still after that last dozer. That's what he's after. But you'll be surprised to see now there's a CC out. This, by the way, is a bad supply by uh, Muff. Angry mob. Not really sure that's going to be achieving anything. <laughs> While there's even just one get out. He needs to pick off that get or snipe it. Maybe the Jarman should be back here to snipe that off. And then the Jarman could do more. But there are flamers here as well. But it looks like uh, Marikar might just die here. That power plant is one of his big lifelines here. And it looks like he might lose it. He's going for a counter-attack, though. Maybe, yeah, a counter-attack and maybe a base trade. But there's so much stuff here, plus this bunker, that he's just running straight into. Napalm makes a good transition here for Queen Muff. But it does get closed down a little bit uh, too soon before they're able to do any real damage. Power plant is going to be focused down here. Queen Muff is going to expand. One thing I've been told about uh, if you're playing Muff or if you're, ever, if you're struggling against Muff or you want to work out what her weakness is, I was told that her multitasking isn't the greatest and that's where you can catch her off guard. So while she might be good at controlling this main army, you might struggle versus that. Actually, in terms of mustering some kind of defense back here and also attacking up here, like you just saw the army completely freeze for a second. I see the multitasking sometimes slip. That might be where her weakness lies. So currently, that probably does stand strong, although she probably doesn't have many options. Although this isn't the greatest, is it? In the terms that this attack is doing well, but in, apart from that, back at home, it's not doing... She's not doing anything at all. In fact, just wasting a load of doses out there and wasting all the all the cash is not good in terms of what this has been produced and I don't know what it's been doing because they've just been sending units there to die. Yeah, the defense so far hasn't been the greatest, but she is doing well in terms of expanding over here. A new CC being built. I think that's uh, a key thing to get down now. Maybe didn't need to flame those, actually. But yeah, we've got a full-on base trade going on. But Marikar is quite far behind in the base trade. Because this big army now can just come all the way over here and just wipe the floor with Marikar again. Marikar's going to have to go back again and avoid fighting this beast of an army. He wants to loop around this big army and try to base trade again. <laughs> I think that's the best. Yeah, these mines are proving difficult for Marikar to completely clear Muff out here. I'm trying to pay attention to the multitasking. Like, what is Muff doing? She's moving this big army over here. 
Whereas this one is just completely stopped now. <laughs> so I suppose maybe it is right. I'm trying to see if the theory is right. Just got a preemptive flame war going on here. Uh, and whilst Marikar's still in it, I mean, how much longer is he going to be in it for? He's lost a key unit there, which is Battle Bus. He's not going to be able to rebuild, is he? Unless he retakes, unless he takes this area over here. It's coming in. Battle Bus evacs, but if there's a gat out there, though, or a flamer. Oh. Looking pretty rough for Marikar. I don't know if he's going to be able to come through this one. Yeah, not quite sure what's going on with Marikar there. He's just forced fire in the ground. He could still get back into this game by capturing these buildings. There are MIGs up. Mig Muff has still got 7.5k. If that MIG just hits that, that's Marikar's only chance out, surely. Yeah, Marikar is just living... On a hope here of this one battle bus Marikar has been defeated. Yeah, he just threw in the tower because that was his only building there on the right hand side. I think he had two barracks in the end there. But either way, he just saw the, the cash collected. Yeah. Um, I don't know too much what to say there. I think the Marikar just left the middle wide open. He invested a lot into quads, which is why I sometimes say... Just forget about the arms dealer and just do loads of tunnels in the beginning. Especially if you get um, if you get a dozer, you can drop down tunnels so, so fast. They build in literally a matter of seconds. So why didn't he build that fast third supply and then bunker off the middle with loads and loads of tunnels, like six or seven tunnels? And then when those armies push in from Queen Muff, you try and pick off the gats and then just let the RPGs do the defense against the battle masses. The battle masses then have to just go back. From there, he could have got his oil and his refinery. Um, I mean, you do see size... <laughs> Uh, as as a stealth, spam a lot, of, spam a lot of quads, and he makes the quads work against that against anything. But maybe Marikar just made the wrong decision because he did a bit of a Fargo pop, lost six quads for nothing. Maybe he should have just gone for the base trade. Like at that point, lost that third supply and actually pushed with them six quads instead and kicked Muff off her third. Then that definitely would have been uh, at least a better move than what he did there, losing all them quads for nothing. So yeah, a bit lackluster there from Marikar. He did try a bit of a base trade, but ultimately Muff's army, she just literally clicks where she wants to destroy and that army is just too strong. That's typical, typical tank. So yeah, I would hope for a little bit of a longer game there, but I know some of you like these uh, shorter ones to watch on your lunch and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, GG. Let me know if you want in the comments. And do you think the, the theory that I've randomly heard is right about Muff? Do you think uh, multitasking is a, is a weakness or do you think that's up to, speed, up to speed as well? Or do you think we need to see a few more replays to figure that out or not? So yeah, GG, well played, and see you in the next one.